Most black holes that we know of are at a safe distance. But there might be a rogue black hole drifting through space, gobbling up the matter as it goes. Stay tuned to find out what could happen if a black hole hit Earth. If a massive black hole replaced the Sun, all the planets would remain in their present orbits, circling the black hole at a safe distance. Life would be impossible without the light and heat from the Sun, but at least Earth would survive. However, if a black hole as massive as the Sun entered our solar system by some other means, things would be quite different. Planets would be slung away into space by gravitational forces, or they would be ripped apart by the strong tidal forces of the black hole. But thankfully, the chances of this happening are very slim. Black holes have been long a source of much excitement and intrigue. And interest regarding black holes will surely grow now that gravitational waves have been discovered. First of all, let's understand what a black hole is. Many of the questions people have asked regarding how true science fiction concerning black holes might be and whether wormholes, such as those featured in Stargate, are real or not. Invariably though, the one item that is almost assured to come up is the largely gruesome ways black holes might theoretically affect human beings and the Earth itself. The Earth would stand no chance if it encountered a rogue black hole. The cosmic black hole's tidal forces would easily rip the planet apart. Matter piles up in a superheated, rapidly spinning disk before plunging through the horizon of a black hole, never to reappear again. Mass, charge, and spin. There are three properties of a black hole that are, in principle, measurable. Their mass, their spin or angular momentum, and their overall electric charge. Indeed, these are the only three parameters that an outside observer can ever know about since all the other information about anything that goes into making up a black hole is lost. This is known as the no hair theorem. Put simply, no matter how hairy or complex an object you throw into a black hole, it will get reduced down or shaved to its mass, charge, and spin. Of these parameters, mass is arguably the most significant. A black hole has its mass concentrated into a vanishingly small volume, the singularity. And it's the same mass of the black hole and the huge gravitational forces generated by its mass doing the damage to the nearby objects. Space Spaghetti One of the best known effects of a nearby black hole has the imaginative title of spaghettification. In brief, if you stray too close to a black hole, then you will stretch out just like spaghetti. This effect is caused due to a gravitation and gradient across your body. Imagine that you are headed feet first towards a black hole. Since your feet are physically closer to the black hole, they will feel stronger gravitational pull toward it than your head will. Worse than that, your arms, because they're not at the center of your body, will be attracted in a slightly different vector or direction than your head is. This will cause parts of the body towards the edges to be brought inward. The net result is an elongation of the body overall and thinning out or compression in the middle. Hence, your body or any other object, such as Earth, will start to resemble spaghetti long before it hits the center of the black hole. The exact point at which these forces become too much to bear will depend critically on the mass of a black hole. For an ordinary black hole that has been produced by the collapse of a high mass star, this could be several hundred kilometers away from the event horizon, the point beyond which no information can escape a black hole. Yet for a supermassive black hole, such as the one thought to reside at the center of our galaxy, an object could readily sink below the event horizon before becoming spaghetti, at a distance of many tens of thousands of kilometers from its center. For a distant observer outside the event horizon of the black hole, it would appear that we progressively slow down and then fade away over time. Bad news for Earth. Hypothetically, what would happen if a black hole appeared out of nowhere next to Earth? The same gravitational effects that produce spaghettification would start to take effect here. The edge of the Earth closest to the black hole would feel a much stronger force than the far side. As such, the doom of the entire planet would be at hand. We would be pulled apart. 
equally, we might not even notice if a truly supermassive black hole swallowed us below its event horizon, as everything would appear as it once was, at least for a small period of time. In this case, it could be some time before disaster struck. But don't lose too much sleep. We'd have to be unfortunate to hit a black hole in the first place, and we might live on holographically after the crunch anyway. Mind the radiation. Interestingly, black holes are not necessarily black. Quasars, objects at the heart of distant galaxies powered by black holes, are supremely bright. They can readily outshine the rest of their host galaxy combined. Such radiation is generated when the black hole is feasting on new material. To be clear, this material is still outside the event horizon, which is why we can still see it. Below the event, the horizon is where nothing, not even light, can escape. As all the matter piles up from the feast, it will glow. It is this glow that is seen when observers look at quasars. But this is a problem for anything orbiting or near a black hole as it is very hot indeed. Long before we would be spaghettified, the sheer power of this radiation would fry us. Life around a black hole. For those who have watched Christopher Nolan's film, Interstellar, the prospect of a planet orbiting around a black hole might be an appealing one. There needs to be an energy source or a temperature difference for life to thrive. And a black hole can be that source. There's a catch though. The black hole needs to have stopped feasting on any material, or it will be emitting too much radiation to support life on any neighboring world. What life would look like in such a world, assuming it's not too close to getting spaghettified of course, is another matter. The amount of power received by the planet would probably be tiny compared to what Earth receives from the sun, and the overall environment of such a planet could be equally as bizarre. Indeed. In the creation of Interstellar, Kip Thorne was consulted to ensure the accuracy of depiction of the black hole featured. These factors do not preclude life, it just makes it a challenging prospect and very hard to predict what forms it could take. Now that you've watched the video, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.